Levi, also known as Pedicius Humanus Humanus, is a life that lives in the fold of clothing and feeds on human flesh. But before we get started, let's get a good look at Crypto Computer Buggy for a sec. So what is it exactly? First off, body life is a louse insect that breeds as an ectoparasite, meaning it lives on the surface of the coast and belongs to the Pneumotapleus order Cryptoraptura. It will feed on blood several times daily and thus reside close to its host skin and maintain its body temperature. Body life has a three-stage life cycle, the egg, the nymph, and the adult. Body life eggs are called nymphs. They are hard to see and are often confused with nymphs. Nymphs are laid by the female louse and are cemented to the base of her egg, near to the skin to keep them warm, and take about one week to hatch. After the egg is hatched, it releases a nymph, which looks like a much smaller version of an adult louse, about the size of a pinhead raccoon. The nymph will grow into a full adult after about seven days after hatching. The adult louse is about the size of a sesame seed, has cheek scars, and is usually a pale to grayish white color. But in people with darker hair, the adult louse will appear to have a darker color to hide from. The females can lay up to eight nymphs per day, and their life will live up to 30 days if there's a ready source of blood to feed on. Without a host to feed on, the louse will die after one or two days. Now here's an up-close look at an adult louse. So how do you know if you have body lice and how do you avoid getting it? Body lice can be found worldwide, but it's usually found in people who don't have access to regular bathing and changes of clothes, such as refugees, the homeless, and survivors of natural disasters and war. So how can you tell when you already have body lice? The easiest way is to, well, look. If you see hundreds of little bugs running around on you and your clothing, probably do something about it. Other symptoms of body lice infection are intense itching that will lead to sores or if left untreated long enough the heavily bitten areas of your skin become thickened and darkened this condition is called vaginal edema you should also be very cautious of body lice as they have been known to transmit diseases such as typhus chest fever and relapse disease all of which can be fatal if you catch them <laughs> should you do if you do have a body lice infection? First thing you should do is to improve your personal hygiene. You should wash all clothes, bedding, and towels that have been used by the infected person and continue to wash them regularly, which is at least once a week, and dry them on the hottest nights. There are many home remedies for body lice also, but none are proven to work. Most, harm most are harmless, but you'll probably look really, really stupid trying to use them by covering your entire body in them. That's a good one. 
Other remedies are a little bit more dangerous, though, like rubbing insecticide and gasoline on your skin. Don't try this. Insecticides and gas are both poisonous and both flammable and should not be put on your skin. If washing and improved hygiene don't work, there are thousands of over-the-counter products that will. So there you go. Apparently that one works too. Use it instead of rubbing insecticide and gas. To keep from getting body lice, you should bathe regularly and change into properly laundered clothes at least once a week. Don't share clothing, beds, linens, and towels with infected people. In very rare cases, fumigation or dusting with chemical insecticides is sometimes necessary to control the spread of body lice and prevent diseases from other places. And if you thought you'd be safe from body lice just because you live in a very remote place like America, well, people are not that bad, don't worry. They, they just made like some big announcement on that side that I guess there's like a big outbreak and they're telling everyone to come see you guys about like getting but checked. I know that's that we some, don't have like a supply too. Yeah. They're saying like some about I shampoo. say just start shaving heads. <laughs> you got it. Shave the heads and draw the freaking hair in the garbage and get it the hell out. Yeah. I'll shave my head if I have it. People shouldn't be surprised to write off body lice and toxins. Body lice have played a silent but very deadly role now and throughout history. For example, lice-borne diseases have decimated troops in every major European war and emerged to slaughter thousands after natural disasters. More startling still is that the louse-borne disease typhoon has killed more people throughout history than the sum of every person killed in combat since the Peloponnesian War, which happened from 401 to 404 BC. That isn't to say that body lice don't serve a purpose in times of conflict. There has been experimentation in the use of body lice in forensic science and cell crimes. If, for example, in a case that involves close contact between the perpetrator and the victim, by taking a sample of the blood meal of the lice from the victim, the lice that would be found on the perpetrator and found within two days, the lice on the perpetrator will still provide DNA from the victim and link it to the victim. And that's the end of the presentation. I'm sure you all found it to be both fun and educational. <laughs> Why, if I was a biology teacher, I think I'd give this an A. For real, Mr. Irwin, give me that A.